Hi, I'm Slavic with iDrinkCoffee.com. Today I'm presenting the Bezerra Duo Espresso Machine with volumetric dosing. The Duo, as its name suggests, is a dual boiler machine with full control, full PID control over both the steam and espresso boiler. It also has a rotary pump and the ability to be plumbed in or run as a pour over. To demonstrate the machine, I'm going to discuss all of its features and I'm also going to make several sets of drinks. Let's get started. The Bezerra Duo has all of the features that you would like in a high-end home espresso machine, including volumetric dosing. These buttons up here represent your doses. You have your single short, your single long, double short, and double long, and your manual dosing. And those buttons are programmable and they're controlled using a flow meter, so it delivers the same amount of volume each time after it's programmed. Uh, when you press a button, the pump turns on, and then it turns off after a certain volume. The machine features Bezerra's own group head. Now this group head is nice because there's no maintenance. There's no valves inside there to change and it's heated using two heating elements controlled by a thermostat inside but these groups are very, very reliable. You'll also notice the wooden accents which are standard on the Duo. So you have your wooden portafilter handle and the knobs for the steam and well, steam here and the hot water over here. As mentioned before, the machine has a rotary pump, uh, so you can run it uh, plumbed in, so you can plumb it in directly to your water main, or you can run it as a pour over. And the tank is just underneath the uh, cup warming tray, very easy to lift up and remove. And it's a four liter tank, which is, which is a good size. You don't have to refill it too often. The Duo is controlled using its touchscreen interface, and it really is intuitive and very easy to use. This is the main screen, so the first thing that you'll see is the two temperatures. On the left, I have got my espresso boiler temperature, and on the right, I have my steam boiler temperature. And to change it, you just press it, the temperature, and you can easily change uh, up and down to whatever you like. Also, in the espresso menu, you'll see the wetting. And the, what the wetting is, it's the pre-infusion. So this machine also has programmable pre-infusion, and you can program that from zero to five seconds in half second intervals. And I'm just gonna, mine's at three seconds right now, but I'll raise it to four, for, for example, and then bring it down to three. And then you press OK. The steam boiler also, you can press and change the temperature. If you want more steaming power, you would raise the temperature and that would subsequently raise the pressure inside the boiler. You can also turn the boilers on or off. If, for example, if you want to just make espresso, you would turn the steam boiler off to save energy. And you can also give priority to either boiler. The last thing you'll notice on the right hand side is a digital readout of how much water is left inside the tank. And that's when the machine is run as a pour over, which this one is. The second level menu is accessed by pressing the logo, so you press it right there. And you're going to get four icons uh, displayed. The first one is a hand holding a towel, and you press that when you want to clean the screen. It blocks the screen for 10 seconds, and you can just wipe it down if there's any fingerprints on there, and it won't respond to any commands, uh, so you don't inadvertently make any changes. And then I'll go back to the main screen. The next option in the second level menu is the gear and that's where your settings are. So here you have your language settings, so you would set to your preferred language, I have it at English. Units, uh, you put Celsius or Fahrenheit, whatever your preference is as well. The third setting does not apply to this machine because this machine, the Duo, does not have the uh, 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 LED body. It only has the, the stainless steel panels. It's only in its sister machine that that's available. I press down to go to the next level. The light option is the light that illuminates the drip tray or the area underneath the portafilter, and you can turn that on or off, whatever your preference is, and you can also set the intensity of the light. So you can go lower to dim it or higher to make it more luminous, more bright. The next option is the sensor calibration, and you use that to calibrate the sensor inside the water tank if you're running the machine as a pour over. The next option is maintenance, and this is a cool feature. This is basically a reminder after how many drinks the machine should remind you to do maintenance. And I have it set to 100, but you can set it higher. I usually recommend back flushing every 100 to 150 drinks. So I have it set to 100. After I make 100 drinks, the machine's gonna tell me to clean it, to maintain it. 
the third menu or the third screen, you'll see the water filter and the water filter works much the same way that the maintenance does and you can set the amount of days uh, to remind you to change the filter if you're using an in-tank filter or if you're using a uh, in-line filter. It's, it's the same thing. It will remind you after a certain amount of days. Then you have the water source, either pour over or plumbed in, the date and time setting, and finally on the last page, you have the auto on and off settings. That's a really neat feature. Uh, you can set the machine to turn on a certain time in the morning so it's ready, so you can have that first cup in the morning, and then turn off at a certain time to save power. And finally, there's a password setting so you can set something in there in order to lock the settings so no one changes them without your authority. So for my first drink, I'm going to make a double shot of espresso, but I'm also going to use the opportunity to show you how to program the volumetric dosing. And I've already ground my coffee, and I'm just going to put these measuring shot glasses here. And what I want is I want to program my double dose. I'm going to program the double short uh, to be about 30 milliliters per shot, so about 60 milliliters total volume. And the way you program it is you hold down the manual button, which is the Bezerra logo. One of the coolest logos in the industry, by the way, it's a snake eating a man. That's the, uh, actually, the logo is the same thing as the crest of the city of Milan, which is Bezerra's hometown. And well, it stopped flashing, but I'm going to do that one more time. While that's flashing, I press the button I wish to program, and in this case, that's double short. And the machine's going to begin extracting. And it, in order to program it, all I have to do is press that manual button again, and it's going to remember that setting for next time, and it will repeat it each time I press that button. And like I said, I'm aiming for about 30 milliliters of volume on both sides, so I'm going to stop it right there. And now that setting is programmed. You can also program all of the rest of the buttons to whatever is your preference. Next, I'm going to make uh, two cappuccinos, and I'm going to use the same setting that I just programmed. Uh, so I'm going to put my cups in here. I, I already have my dose set. I'm going to put my two uh, cappuccino cups, and I'm going to use that double short button and this is what's really nice about volumetric dosing it's going to uh, start and stop so you don't need a, thir a third hand like you do on some other uh, double boiler machines and I can froth at the same time very easily uh, this uh, machine does have the joystick style steam and hot water uh, knobs so they're instant on and instant off. They lock in the top position. And after I'm done steaming, just give my wand a wipe and a little purge. You can see my coffee stopped on its own and then I can easily add my milk for my two cappuccinos. And for my final drink, I'm going to make a Cafe Misto, which is a drink that's gaining popularity here in Canada. And a Cafe Misto is basically an Americano with milk inside it. So on the right hand side, I've got my hot water wand. I'm going to add my water. And again, I'm going to use the same button that I've programmed. I'm going to use my double short uh, to add the espresso and froth my milk. I'm using a smaller pitcher this time, it's a 12 ounce pitcher. I'll just stop it right there. And then I just add my milk. And I've got myself a Cafe Misto. As we've seen, the Bezerra Duo is a very fully featured machine capable of making cafe style drinks in your home. I mean, this machine has pretty much everything. Bezerra is also a brand that's one of the oldest in the industry. They've been around and in, in continuous operation since 1901. We've been proud to be partnered with Bezerra for almost 10 years. If you have any questions about the Duo or any one of our products, please feel free to reach out and ask for help. We're always happy to provide it. Also, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos about espresso machines, coffee machines, and everything to do with coffee. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.